no uterus, no opinion. How are you gonna be a dude with a penis does not know what it is like to experience a period? How are you gonna tell me I'm being overdramatic? You don't know what it's like, dude. Hey guys, it's Sharon. Welcome to you. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an episode of my notorious series, Period Horror Stories. But to make it even more juicier, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of school on top. Why? Because school is easily one of like the top 10 worst places to get your period unexpectedly. School sucks, kids suck, and periods suck. It's just not a good mix overall. Now that I think about it, what are the worst places to get your periods? A plane, a train, and a bus. Just all public transportation. <laughs> what are your top three worst places to get your period unexpectedly? Comment them down. Let's get creative. Which actually, speaking of getting creative, I have two very special announcements, or I guess teasers, that I have been dying to share with you guys. For the last couple of weeks, I have been working on a period journal. This is my proof. This is not the final version, but this is basically just a journal that's meant to help you track your period and your symptoms. I designed everything myself. There will be different covers, so you have different options, and I am honestly so excited for not only you guys to use this, but also me to use this because my hair is all over the place. <laughs> so keep an eye out for it because I will definitely let you guys know when you can get it. Now my second little teaser is I will be hosting another period drive. This time I'm gonna host it in March in honor of Women's History Month. It'll be super easy to donate. It's just gonna be via an Amazon link like last time or in person if you live in Tampa, Florida. More details on both the period journal and the period drive very soon. I just wanted to like tease y'all with it. <laughs> So if you haven't subscribed or turned on your post notifications, you definitely should so you're the first to know. But that being said, go grab your snacks, go grab your tea, go grab your period supplies, and let's get into this. One time I was at school and I didn't have a tampon, so I asked one of my friends. The guy across from her asked what I was doing and said, I'm getting a tampon, you want one? And then the sub was like, what are you doing? And this guy yells, they are giving each other tampons. The sub just looks at me, so I go to the bathroom. While I was gone, another guy came back from the bathroom and asked what happened because everyone was laughing. He asked, so they were drug dealing tampons. And my friend was like, yeah, kinda, but we don't snort them. And this guy goes, yes you do, you snort them with your vaginas. <laughs> I hate admitting this, but like, he has a point. That's a great way to think of tampons now. Snorting them into my coochie. Thanks for that, dude. <laughs> I mean, honestly, with like how discreet some people are about giving like period supplies and like hiding it or putting it in like water bottles or hiding it up their sleeve or putting it in a pencil case, yeah, it looks a little sus. It does look like a little bit of a deals going on so I mean you know yeah I could see it sharing tampons equals drug dealing question mark <laughs> technically you don't snort them though you insert them oh my god I'm, I'm not no we're done <laughs> I put a tampon in before I left in the morning it was the third day of high school so I wasn't really used to the school yet I went to the bathroom to change and there was nobody in there when I went into the stall I changed my tampon but there was no place to put it in the bathroom which confused me so I just walked out with my used tampon wrapped in toilet paper in my hand there were three guys just standing there so I bolted out of the bathroom that's when I realized it was the men's bathroom. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of glad it was the men's bathroom because I would be extremely freaked out if I walked out of the bathroom stall and there were just a bunch of dudes hanging out in the girls' restroom. I'd be scared for my freaking life. I would rather have accidentally used the men's bathroom. How did you not notice though? Like, don't they have urinals? Do school bathrooms not have urinals? Are the urinals in the stalls? I have so many questions. You know, it's just a bathroom though. Cause it's like, dude, we all gotta pee. Cry me a river. I definitely did that at a Jonas Brothers concert. The women's bathroom, guess how long the line was? Humongous. It's only women going to see the Jonas Brothers. The guy's bathroom, short as heck. Guess where I went? No shame. Listen, when you gotta go, you gotta go. It doesn't matter where you go, as long as it's the bathroom. My friend put a used tampon in her crush's backpack. So are we sure this is the friend's crush? Because my thing is, if I have a crush, I want my crush to like me back, not hate me and possibly get a restraining order against me because I'm putting dirty tampons that have been stuck in my coochie in his backpack. What if the tampon isn't even hers? Oh, that just, nope, that just got even grosser. I am so good. Why would you do this? Unless your crush is into some really weird, twisted, disgusting, concerning things. I don't think your crush wants a blood 
bloody tampon in his backpack. But maybe that's just me. Imagine that kid's face when he got home and he's like, literally, what the hell is this? This is literally how to get your crush to not like you. I was having super bad cramps, so I asked my male teacher to go to the nurse and he asked why. I told him it was a girl emergency. He laughed super loud and got the whole class's attention. He said, oh, I know what it is. You're being dramatic. Sit down. I tried to walk out of class, but he stopped me and made me sit down. A few minutes later, I passed out from the pain and now he's fired. How's that for being dramatic? Teach? I will say this for the rest of my life. No uterus, no opinion. How are you gonna be a dude with a penis does not know what it is like to experience a period? How are you gonna tell me I'm being overdramatic? You don't know what it's like, dude. Period cramps can literally be as bad as heart attacks for some people. You're right, I'm just being dramatic. Sorry, teach. <laughs> I am so glad he got fired. With all the like bad stories I've heard of teachers and their reactions to periods, I feel like teachers should be obligated to take a course on like menstruating students that could get periods just so, hey, so this is what happens in case you forgot that people with vaginas get periods. I was walking home from school, sixth grade with three boys and was wearing white shorts. Suddenly blood started dripping down my leg. One of the boys thought I was dying and called 911 and I had to explain to them that every girl had to go through it and we still laugh about it. As embarrassing as this is, and as overdramatic as this is, shout out to that boy, you know, he did not hesitate. He was like, oh my gosh, she bleeding, she dying, I'm gonna call 911, and he was like on point about it. He said, my friend is not dying today. So for that, we love him and we respect him. For the fact that uh, he didn't know it was a period, I am a little bit disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. This is why boys should also know about periods, so they actually don't freak out in situations like this and think that their friend is dying. Call 911, when instead their friend's uterus is not not dying, but stabbing itself, shedding its lining. <laughs> boys. I was taking a science test and couldn't focus because of how bad my cramps were. So I asked if I can call my mom. When I got back from the office, the teacher sat me down in front of the whole class and gave me a 15 minute lecture on how I should be able to handle it and that she thought I was faking. I was crying and embarrassed, but she let me go home in the end. I have so many issues with this. And the first part I want to talk about is, but she let me go home in the end. She let you? Oh, uh-uh. No, it should be, but you let her keep her job in the end. Cause what the hell is that about? How are are you, especially someone with a uterus? How are you gonna tell me that I need to handle it better? Again, some period cramps could feel as bad as heart attacks. And you'd think as someone with a uterus that they would also remember what it's like to be on a period and how horrible it can be. You really think I would be sitting here crying my eyes out because I was being that over dramatic? Please, let me save that for the Oscars. It is literally my uterus trying to freaking suffocate me. But okay, I digress. It be your own people, dude. It really do. Some girl thought it would be funny to throw her used tampon over the stall and it fell on my hair. Imagine being in the toilet, minding your business. Finally, some privacy and someone's just bloody tampon just flies over your head, just lands right on your hair. Yeah, no, see, my problem is I would have picked it up and just tossed it back and then stood outside the stall for them to come out and take them straight to the principal's office because we're not playing this game. Mm -mm. It is so disrespectful to grab your dirty little coochie cotton and toss it over the stall. Why would you do that? Literally trash cans. That's why they were invented. I bled through and my boyfriend gave me his hoodie to tie around my waist so I could go to my locker. I asked my teacher for a pass and he asked what the pass was for. My boyfriend decided to say she doesn't know how to coordinate or function with her period so she bled on her pants. Loud enough for the whole class to hear. Then he got up and took the hoodie off my waist to prove his point. My teacher apologized to me and let me go. When I came back to class my teacher made my boyfriend go up to the front of the class and explained how he is the perfect example of what not to be and how he needs to grow up. My boyfriend tried to argue with the teacher and he ended up getting written up for bullying, cussing slash yelling at a teacher and walking out of the classroom. We're no longer together. I love everything about this story except that crappy boyfriend. How are you gonna be nice and give me your sweater so I could tie around my waist, tie my period and then turn on me and embarrass me and show everyone my period anyways. If you hate your girlfriend, just say so. Shout out to that teacher for literally being like, yeah man, this guy is trash. As you should teach. If your man thinks your period is disgusting or gross or that you can't function or handle your period, dump him, sis. Now he deserved a bloody tampon being yeeted at his head. I was in biology class and I asked the teacher if I may go to the bathroom and he said that he already let one girl out and that's it for the day. Unless I have like a doctor's prescription to drink a lot of water, then it's understandable that I need to go to the bathroom. I went to my bag, pulled out my little case where I keep pads and went to show him as I was opening it. I asked, man, 
man, go now. He from that day let every girl go to the bathroom without questioning it. Yeah, what kind of an idiot makes this rule? I'm sorry, only one girl can go to the bathroom a day. What? So you're telling me just cause Britney went to the bathroom before me, I can't pee. So I should just pee in my seat. Dude, why did he ever think that was a good idea? Again, period course for teachers. This would not have happened. My biggest fear was getting my first period in school and leaking. So I would always wear a pad to school about a year after I hit puberty. My period wasn't coming and I was getting sick of the pad, so I stopped wearing it. And a week later in school, my underwear was a lot wetter than normal. I came home to realize my underwear was full of blood. Sis, this is insanity. Like, respectfully. Listen, you don't need to wear a pad if you're not bleeding, especially when disposable pads can get so expensive. I cannot imagine how much money was wasted on wearing a pad every single day. 365 pads in a year and you're not even bleeding into them. That is also literally creating a breeding ground for bacteria. That there's no reason for that to be there. Please don't wear period products unless you're on your period. And if you are so worried about leaking, don't be. It's just blood. It happens to all of us. So what if you have a little period stain? It's okay. That stain will come out. There's really no need to be wearing period products anticipating your period because listen, you will never win. Your period will always win. <laughs> Save yourself some coin and don't do this. It was my first time on it and I didn't know there were pads other than panty liners. So I wore panty liners the whole school day and had to change it every hour but still leaked all over me. Yeah, I was like this except I was the opposite. When I first got my period, I didn't know there were things other than pads. I had no idea panty liners existed. So yeah, there's actually a lot of period products. There's panty liners. These are for your light days or for discharge or like spotting. There are pads. Pads are for like, you know, your period days. You're bleeding. You can take it up a notch and get like overnight pads with wings and that's for like really heavy bleeding or like at night bleeding. Different types of pads. There's also tampons. Tampons also have different types of tampons. Roll of thumb. Tampons are great for if you're like active. There's like regular, they're super, and I think there's light tampons. Then there's the reusable options. You have reusable period underwear and reusable period pads that, yeah, you can wear over and over again after you wash them. They're great. They collect so much blood. Then there's menstrual disc and menstrual cups. One is a little bit of a, like a little disc and one generally looks like a little like wine glass, like a little cup. You insert them, they collect your blood, you dump it. Your options, so many of them. Don't be afraid to test out different period products until you find the one or the ones you like. I'll link some of my favorites. I love reusable pads and I love period underwear. You could be a menstrual cup and period underwear girl, depending on the day. You have lots of options. Get to know them. <laughs> I bled through my pants, so I had to spend all of lunch in the bathroom waiting for my mom to bring me new clothes and she brought me my least favorite pair of pants. Okay, life hack. Have a kit of change of clothing that you want your parents or guardian to bring you for school if need be. So let's say I got my period, I stained a little bit, or even if I was in lunch and I spilled apple juice on my pants, I can call my mom or my dad or whoever my guardian is and be like, hey, I need you to grab this bag. It has a change of clothes. I need you to bring it to school. And look, you picked out your own outfit and now you don't have to worry about whoever it is you're called bringing some embarrassing clothes or some clothes that don't even fit anymore. Also, if you leak, don't forget to ask for extra underwear or just keep it in your locker. You should totally keep a change of bottoms, panties, and a plastic bag to put the bloody stuff in, in your lockers or your bags if you can. So that way you don't have to worry about someone bringing it to you. And if you can't, you can always switch into your gym clothes if you have any. I got you. My friend had just got her period at sixth grade middle school, so not good because none of us were prepared at a new school we didn't know. She asked a teacher for help and that teacher said that she can't help her with that. So she found herself running all over the school because no one decided to help her and she bled through to the point that she was pretty much dripping. I'm sorry, so what was the teacher's excuse for not being able to help a student? Like I'm literally bleeding out of my coochie. I am leaving a trail of blood. Why are you not able to help me? The teacher just could have said, here's the nurse's office. Go see the nurse. That's it. The tiniest bit of effort possible. Yes, screw that teacher. Listen, one thing I have learned, keep asking until someone says yes or someone helps you. That one teacher sucked. Okay, go try another teacher. Great way to prevent something like this is have a period kit. Always keep period products on you and even take it as far as starting a period kit with your friends. This is where your friends all bring in 
period supplies. You guys are like sharing a little donation bin, for example, and whenever you need one, you got it. You have access to period supplies and you don't have to worry about teachers that will not help you. And period kits like this aren't just for school either. You could totally do this at your job as well, even at home for sleepovers, whatever. I thought my period was over and it came to school with no supplies. Big mistake. It turns out my period wasn't over. On a sheet of paper, I asked my bestie if she had any supplies, but our teacher caught us and read the whole thing in front of the whole class. I hate teachers that do this. Respectfully, I'm not even gonna talk about the period in this because of course, you know, big mistake. You should have brought period supplies. Always, mother nature's like that. She will always surprise you. So we're gonna instead focus on the teacher of why? Why do you have to do that? Why do teachers like taking private notes and reading it in front of the class? You're twisted. Do you live to mortify and embarrass children? What was the point of that? Congrats, you're miserable, we get it. Teachers, if you're reading notes aloud, think about what you're doing. I had just got my period and I didn't feel like running a mile in gym because of cramps. I told the female coach, she said, too bad, you are no different from anybody else. After not even running halfway, I threw up and bled through my shorts. The coach said I was a pig and was not allowed to go to the nurse. My mom went to school the next day and the coach got fired. The coach not only deserved to get fired, but deserved to get punched in the face, disrespectfully, because how are you gonna call me a pig for throwing up because of my period when I explicitly told you, hey girl, this ain't gonna end well for me. Yeah, no. Imagine literally being a person with a uterus and calling someone else a pig for dealing with something that their uterus caused. You're such a pick me girl, you are disgusting. Get out, we do not claim you. So happy she lost her job. Also, the fact that the coach was like, you're no different than anybody else. Um, actually, actually I am. Cause not everyone has the same period experience. So actually coach, shut the fuck up. And the last one, during enrichment, my boyfriend saw my pads and tampons and said, are those men's? He didn't know what a period was and we're in eighth grade. As much as I do believe that by eighth grade, you should at least know what a period is. You know, he's a boy. I will cut him the tiniest, tiniest bit of slack. How are you gonna think they're men's? Pads are like, Yay big. That's a lot of mints, dude. Why are they that big? Why does the packaging also not say mints? Do you hear mints? Cause I don't. I, period education guys. It is so important. This is why I make these videos. I want you to talk about your period. I want you to make people feel comfortable and normalize talking about periods because half these things could be avoided if people just knew more about periods. But I digress. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. And in the comments below, feel free to share your period horror story if it happened at school or if it happened anywhere that you'd like. I do make this video about once a month, but if you absolutely cannot wait to share yours, go ahead and do so. Now, shout out of the day goes to Catherine on Instagram. Thank you so, so much. If you'd like to be shout out of the day, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. Keep your eyes peeled for my period journal or journals, I should say, and my period drive. Those will all be happening very, very soon and I'm so excited. If you haven't subscribed already, you totally should and definitely make sure you turn on your post notifications so you're the first to know when you can get your hands on a period tracker. But all that being said, I love you. Stay safe. Stay smart. Talk about your periods. And I hope you don't bleed at school unexpectedly, but bye. <laughs>